Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Runtagun bringing you a feature recipe tonight. So we're in the middle of antelope season and my husband brought me home some fresh antelope meat. This is literally three days old. Uh, he brought it quartered out, I trimmed it up and I had this beautiful piece of venison tenderloin that we're gonna cook up tonight. So we're gonna do a quick marinade on it just going to do two tablespoons olive oil. And then a quarter cup of dry red wine, which I have some Merlot here. I don't really love drinking dry red wine, so this little box that you can buy at the grocery store is a great option, so we're not wasting very much red wine. A little soy sauce, probably about a tablespoon. A couple squirts of my favorite Dijon mustard, chopped garlic, which I already have this handy dandy jar of nicely chopped up garlic. Gonna go probably about a tablespoon too. And then for seasonings, we're going to add rosemary, which I have a dried. Um, you can definitely use a fresh rosemary. This takes a little because rosemary is quite potent, but it's great for red meats. And then black pepper, a few shakes. Probably do more once we have the roast out for the tenderloin. And then some Himalayan pink salt. We're just going to whisk that together. And pour it right over the tenderloin in the bag. I'm gonna seal it up good. Make sure it's covered well. And you're going to want to let this marinade for up to eight hours or overnight. So we're doing the speedy way. So we're gonna get our skillet ready with a little more olive oil. Some tongues out. heat up a bit because we're going to want a good sear on the tenderloin. So we're going to sear each set side for three to four minutes and then we'll finish cooking it in the skillet. And we're aiming for about 135 to 140 degrees. That's medium rare. You can go a little bit higher if you want it medium, medium well. So we have the venison going on about medium high heat. And we are going to pour our extra because we want that to reduce down a bit in case you want like a little glaze over top of the tenderloin. So we're having a really simple, easy side tonight. Instead of a just baked sweet potato or diced sweet potatoes, which we seem to have a lot, we're gonna mix it up with some sweet potato fries because who doesn't love sweet potato fries? The kids do, we do. I'm gonna spray the pan well. I got the oven preheating to 425. I'm just gonna put these out. And then we'll throw them in the oven. Our fries will be cooking while our tenderloin is getting nice and seared. And check this out. Oh yeah, we got some good coloring going on over here, so we're gonna flip it over 
and now sear the other side for another three to four minutes. And then we're gonna temp it and see where we're at. We have cooked each side three to four minutes and a little additional, probably about five minutes because it took a little longer. And we're gonna temp it. And you wanna go all the way to the side. And we are right at 1.30. So we're gonna turn off the heat and then let it rest for about five to 10 minutes and then it'll fully come up to 135, 140, which is what we want. So we'll let that sit and rest and then we'll slice it up for supper. Oh yeah, looks perfect. Here are sweet potatoes. We got everything done. Our tenderloin is all cut up and we're ready to enjoy our meal. Thanks again for tuning in to this week's featured recipe.